Does your license need saving? Do the wise thing. Call wise man lawyers. Does your license need saving? Do the wise thing. Call wise man lawyers. Don't face that court alone. Let the wise man team get you back on the road. Does your license need saving? Do the wise thing. Call the wise man. Today at Ipswich Magistrates Court, client was charged with repeat drug driving. Uh, drug driving, there's two different uh, drug driving charges. The more serious is uh, what's called driving under the influence of a drug, meaning you're high on drugs, whereas the lesser charge is driving with a relevant drug present, meaning you've had it at some point. Uh, you're no longer high or under the influence, but uh, there's traces of it still in your system. Uh, he was found to have uh, both cannabis and methamphetamine ice in his system. Uh, and compounding this was the fact that he'd had a previous charge of driving with a relevant drug present uh, about 18 months prior. Uh, if he didn't have that prior uh, 18 months ago and he hadn't lost his license for any reason in the last five years, uh, he would have been eligible to apply for a uh, drug driving work license. But uh, as I've said, to be eligible, you can't have lost your license for any reason in the last five years. So uh, yeah, there was no way he was gonna get a work license. So my job today was one of minimising the penalty as opposed to applying for a drug driving work licence. Um, given he had that previous in the last five years, that aggravated the maximum and uh, minimum penalties. So for a first offence uh, of drug driving, driving with a relevant drug present, uh, it's a worst case scenario of nine months, mandatory minimum one month. Uh, if you've got a previous in the last five years, that jumps up to a worst case scenario of uh, 18 months and um, a uh, best case scenario of a mandatory minimum of three months. So absolute best case scenario today was uh, three months. Worst case uh, was 18 months. And again, he wasn't eligible to apply for a drug driving work license. So my job was one of getting the disqualification down as low as possible. Uh, as a part of um, preparing for today, I got my client to uh, attend a reformatory course, the same course we get all of our clients to do. That's a uh, one night course, three hours, basically, uh, it's run by the police. They bring in uh, presenters who have been affected by road trauma, uh, you know, people who have actually suffered injury or lost loved ones. Uh, I drafted an affidavit for him to sign based on what he told me he'd learnt uh, for the magistrate to read. Uh, I also got him to get character references based on a template that we provide all of our clients. Um, and I got him to complete a, uh, a form that uh, basically prompts him to give me his story. So background, upbringing, education, employment, family situation, uh, like this particular gentleman, uh, he was the sole uh, income earner for a uh, family with two children. So without his income, uh, you know, they were gonna suffer severe financial hardship. Uh, he was a landscaper, so, you know, that's not the kind of job you can do from home or online or over the phone. Uh, if he can't get to his job sites, he's not going to get paid. Um, his employer, uh, to their credit, were uh, willing to accommodate him the best they can, but at the end of the day, they're not a uh, charity, so the longer he's off the road, the harder it's going to be for his employer to justify keeping him on. Uh, in any event, once I had the police brief and I had this uh, documentation back from my client, I prepared my submissions, met my client at this, this morning at court, we grabbed a conference room, ran through what I'm going to say, the procedure, uh, and all the rest of it. I don't like clients to sort of be uh, blindsided or you know see and hear things as it's happening for the first time. I like to sort of run through completely what my clients are to expect when they go into the courtroom. Um, short version is uh, I had to speak quite a bit as to why uh, I thought it was appropriate in this instance for the magistrate to not go past the mandatory minimum three months. Uh, ultimately, I was successful in persuading the magistrate to hand that down. So the short version is he got the mandatory minimum three months, notwithstanding that he had uh, two drugs in his system and a previous charge of the same type 18 months ago. Uh, so that uh, three months starts today. As long as he doesn't uh, drive in the next three months, uh, he'll be fine. But obviously, uh, if he was to do that, there's uh, severe penalties, which I won't go into now. But again, worst case of 18 months, best case of three months. I was successful in persuading the magistrate to hand down that best case of three months. Clients obviously relieved, as is his partner and uh, kids. I'm Andrew Wiseman. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Andrew Wiseman from Wiseman Lawyers, Queensland's only truly dedicated drug, alcohol, and traffic events law firm. 
if you face loss of license, loss of vehicle imprisonment, or anything in between at any court in Queensland, we can and will help you today. This is our specialty. This is all we do. Give us a call, 1300 947 352. I look forward to helping you resolve your issue today. Don't face that court alone. Let the wise man team get you back on the road. Does your license need saving?